Hey, bitchin'. All right, let's do uh, the classic oh. clap. Oh, wonderful clap. Oh, yeah, this is bitchin'. <laughs> I'd like Sonic to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> what the fuck, Tails? <laughs> Eggman, fuck you're you, an Eggman, asshole. You fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta go fast. Suck my dick. All right. <laughs> Amy, you're a whore. <laughs> um, no, okay. Uh, clap, Amy, okay? Amy, fucking okay. slimy bitch, cunt fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, we get it. Sonic's an asshole. Um. Whoa! <laughs> Chill <laughs> out! <laughs> okay, All let's right, sink this shit. <laughs> okay, so that little map thing there. Oh, welcome back, by the way. Um, welcome back. Hello. Chris, try not to die. Yeah. So the, here... Here we have Rebecca, where we're going to uh, do some math. Hooray! Whoa, what happened there? Oh, You're... I saw that. I saw that. You were, you were Oh, wait, no. I was going to say you weren't playing legit, but then I forgot you can play PS1 games on PS3. So. Sub-par editing. I didn't there. actually edit there. I'm being honest with you there. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, then you wait a minute. suck. It just said 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1. That's uh, three quick maths. Uh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, look, it's the hard to swallow pills. <laughs> By the way, can I say that is one of my favorite new memes that's come out? <laughs> Tom, coming out strong. Hard to swallow pills. Sonic Unleashed was an underrated masterpiece. Well, then that's true. Unleashed is art. It is. Except the night missions. I don't even mind the night shit that much. Well, the only thing it's I'm. I'm so the only th I'll, okay, the thing about the night missions that I don't like is. Burner, burner, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that fucking battle music. I, mean, I don't you hate heard, it, it um, just it gets in the way of the really nice jazz. Yeah, that have you ever heard the werehog when he falls? <laughs> yeah. I think it's like his legs getting snapped and ripped off. So like it's like yeah, like exactly. He sounds like James Card when he gets his legs broken in misery. Do you know which Christ. game which Sonic game I'm super sad about, which has really good music, but it's just such a terrible game? Which one? Go on. Sonic and the Sacred Rings. I, like, yes, I, I will stay by this. I don't care what anybody says. I I, I like Secret Rings better than the Black Knight. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's 100%. Okay, okay. That's, that's yeah. No, it's still no, no, no you're both wrong. Um, I cannot stand Black I actually finished Secret Rings. I did all the stuff in it. I did never finish Black Knight all the way. Every Sonic fan... Well, every Sonic fan's an uh, ad, obnoxious dick anyway. Um, but And Dan. Yeah, like, everyone's like... Is this guy for real? And yes, oh, he is. Absolutely and right, you are. Fair enough. Okay, so um, we're all, we're all I like right, the though. Mario Party games. Yes, the Sacred Rings. <laughs> for, for, oh yeah, the whole like Sonic Shuffle Two multiplayer. Um, God, Sonic so, Shuffle was such a weird game. Yeah, it was. I saw okay, it, just I saw just so you know, they recently go for um, like thirty pound. Okay, to buy you it. got the water. Water is technically umb one, so you meant to add them together to make sixteen. That's basically all you're doing here. You know what I just realized? What? We're playing as Jill. No, I'm not actually. I'm playing as Rebecca. You're Rebecca. Oh, fuck. you uncultured fuck! What are you looking at, you Here hockey puck? With his trademark uncultured fuck catchphrase. I, I like how that's my thing now. Just calling people an uncultured fuck. What's my thing? Ren? Um, fucking with people. Being what's evil my, and hell yeah. great. Kylo, what's my thing, Tom, Kylo uh, Kieran? Uh huh. Tom, <laughs> Tom, you, you cry and reference. And I stutter. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, a, what, a, what a fucking um, thing to be known for. <laughs> He's like, every, everyone has uh, like a quirk, a personality. Tom just cries in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let that one slide. Oh, just me in the corner. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so like, I don't cry. You know he you actually. Came, you know he actually came back recently, like with a new series, like not the irate gamer, but like a brand new sort of review sort of thing. The Smirate gamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. but that's the thing. Isn't brand new review like series, now? completely original. Tom, I will. F I'll hit you because you've done it for like five times now. Can we avoid Skinner, please? Can we have a counter of days since Tom last referenced okay, Skinner? Okay, okay, technically the first time Tom's done it was the Final Fantasy VII uh, LP, which is going to go up soon, actually. My favourite one, my favorite one still is still Sonic 2. Agreed. Oh my god. That was, that was so perfect. That was beautiful. 
But yeah, we made a video. Did you actually make that up on the spot? I genuinely did. I genuinely. I mean, I probably thought about it uh, sort of in my head, but like for the most part, I just made that up as I went. Oh my yeah. god, that was so good. It was beautiful, and like, <laughs> it sounds kind of fake when uh, when we laugh because. Uh, me and Dan are holding in that laugh as much as we can, but as soon as you say "Mean Bean Machine 2, we <laughs> just we lit it out like kind of early, so it seems fake, but it's so real. That, that one was just I thought to myself, "Fuck, what's the most obscure thing that could be there?" And I just thought, "Mean Bean Machine 2." <laughs> so, Sonic Labyrinth 2 would have been very Sonic obscure Labyrinth as well. Two. Uh, Sonic, Sonic Jam Shuffle. for the Game dot com too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but yeah, we made V Jolt, which is what's gonna kill uh, Plant Forty Two. So, um, all we have to do now is go down to the roots and just throw it at the roots. Even though, Chris, you know, I hope you've been trying not to die. Chris, don't you dare die. <laughs> Rebecca, uh, is that you? Are you listening? We've managed to avoid dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I just want to ask work. you to wait for the bus and you go, oh, well, hurry up. It's like, cool, I'll wait faster, thanks. Excellent yeah, work, I, I know, Ryan, right? I mean, Chris. But yeah, because uh, this is like the only time you play as Rebecca, I decide to kill the big shark. Put me out of my. Mi I'm surprised they're still alive, actually. Yeah, me too. Well, I actually, mean, that's the thing. How long could like fish or just any sort of underwater creature like survive without water? I mean, uh, from experience, I can say at least five minutes. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, for something huge like a shark, though, you know. Well, this this is a mutant shark or um, a mute. Well, a mutation from the viruses that come forward from the biomechanical yeah I mean stuff. like shots can like if if they stop moving they fucking die so you know so, yeah. so, why don't they just so do that in, why they just, use it why don't they just do that in Jaws just lure the fucking shark to land and just wait for it to dry out <laughs> no then it becomes the Simpsons episode where it's the the dolphins <laughs> sharks Mackenzie yeah okay so you do that you go to leave and then you say I think Claire's like, I hope he's alive. Okay, sure by the way, I want, I want you guys to be kind of quiet for this. I I make the um, audio a bit louder for the... Because um, it's one of those lines, like... I, I know a lot of the lines that make Resident Evil famous are for Jill. But um, this is one of the ones for Chris. So, now that we've made the roots um, all bad, it starts to die... Lol, nope, it's actually okay. I said it's actually okay. I said. I said. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What a mother brain twist. Yeah. Uh, this thing kicks my ass more than I wanted it to, by the way. I hate Nothing the fact goes that... over! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, the, the most annoying thing about this fight is <laughs> if you stand still and too long, like too long. Um, it will start like shitting things at you. Um, but I, yeah, that like swipe there was completely oops. Fucking uh, hell. Yeah. Kill this little shop of horrors. I mean, next weekend. to the yeah. fucking like vines, you got to got to worry about debris not falling on you. Yeah, you you just have to keep moving around. That's the best thing you can possibly hope for. But it was that swipe that fucked me up, and it and it t took a lot of shotgun shells, which was Fuck annoying. Out. That seems like some real bullshit next to that, just having to watch out for falling bits of ceiling. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the UK version or, um, well, because the fact it's a PAL version or the fact that um, I'm playing the original Resident Evil, but it seems to me that there's some parts that are harder, so some things to take longer to kill and stuff like that. So, Did you kill it? Yes. It, no. It's currently live, killing me right now. <laughs> I mean, there's no need to get snarky, I'm just asking. Fuck you, you Dan. pound its tentacles and pull them off. <laughs> Obviously. Well, if you want okay. to see it. Like. So, yeah, you have to go to the fireplace to find another key. Make a campfire. Gather around it and sing the <laughs> campfire song. song. R-C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, well, then you're just wrong. Okay. But it will help if. Okay, stop. Just sing. Stop. Just, I want you to listen to this because I worked oh. really hard on this. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, listen. 
Listen. <laughs> but it's Rebecca's reaction. It's just, <laughs> she shakes her head like what? Thank you. Ah. Mikir, what you should have done there was just with the laugh track, just edit in the Seinfeld ending theme. Fuck. It won't. Well, no. <laughs> no, if it was the end of the part, then yes, I would have. But yeah. But bam, 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 bam. Yes, Tom, we know what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put my own in because you didn't edit it in. Boom, ba dum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh yeah, Brad. He's the one that's flying the helicopter. He's still ten he's still flying around, by the way. Uh, so Running kind of low on ammo. Yeah, fuel. They, yeah, the ammo fuel. <laughs> Let me use bullets as fuel. <laughs> My helicopter runs on gunpowder. Yeah, so she's giving us a radio. It doesn't take up an item slot, but you can like try and contact Brad for like some flavor text, I suppose. But that's literally it. There's nothing. God, I love I love how stupid these old games are. They're so funny. Yeah. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Oh. That always triggers oh, me yeah, when so they she... just talk like, I will be able to instead of I'll. Yeah. Isn't she like a herb specialist or some shit yeah, like that? Yes, she is. Well, she's the medic, so she just grabs uh, the nearest first aid spray and there you go, you're done. Um, but, like, so just go, if you want, like, if you're hurt after the fight like I am here, just go to that room where you make the jolt and you just um, uh, ask Rebecca to heal you and she will. There you go. <laughs> Heal. I you. love the I love the epic examining things where it's just like whoa key. <laughs> yeah, it does make me laugh. Like especially the book, it just goes around and it's like the you know the classic Simpsons Late stuff. Epic or, book. It's like the newspapers that. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, stop spinning the newspaper. I'm trying to read it. <laughs> yeah. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. Yeah, it has a, it, it has air freshener, uh, first aid spray. We've got brown goo, green goo, red goo, <laughs> all the goo you need. All the goo in the world. Yes, please do something for Tem me. Temporarily. <laughs> Temporarily. And then the screen just cuts to black and you, you just hear a zipper sound. Oh, fuck, I should have <laughs> added that, damn it. Rebecca treats Chris. This is Zelda 2 all over again. Yeah, exactly. To a night on the town. Everybody Most treats Chris. Oh yeah, umbrella. What's umbrella? It's the thing that really? you use. To... <laughs> it's a large scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. This is the first time we hear about umbrella, by the way. Oh, oh this is before the outbreak, isn't it? This is before the outbreak. I forgot. I thought this was during the outbreak. Nope. Oh, it's all we'll, connected. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it in zero. Jar Jar is. <laughs> I can't even finish it. Wait, what? Whenever I hear it, whenever I hear it's all connected, I always think of when Tom says Jar Jar is the key to all of this. Umbrella is the key to all this. We got Umbrella working because it's a funnier concept that we've ever really had. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, by the way, finally we get to see this guy again. Hey, Wesky. Hi, Chris. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was him actually talking. <laughs> Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? <laughs> I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I'm sorry? What did yeah. he say? Yeah, he's like the bad Canadian. Like, just, to, just so you know, say. Wesker in this game, his voice is so bad. Like, his delivery is the worst in this game. I love it. Chris, <laughs> Tom's was bad. Chris, I need to tell you something. It's about Jill. Just listen. We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have any bullets left. Oh, I love how Canadian that dope was. We are still in trouble. Oh. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. Just be just in case you might have missed something. I'll look around the house. Well, now that you got it's a new It's so funny that the first Resident okay. Evil game I played was That's Resident Evil 5. Yeah. And how the Wesker in that one is very is the different. most badass fucker in the entire like series for me. 
Yeah. By the way, Wesker, you could have used your bullets on something more prominent. I like that attention to detail when you step on the actual fucking bees. Yeah. It's like um, the little bugs in Metal Gear Solid 2 and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, when they start to eat away at your, uh, away at your uh, whatever it is. Your rations. And That's you, the one. The only way to shake them off is to like shake the uh, like item bar menu. Yeah. Which was very clever, by the way. Wait, the bugs eat your rations? Yeah, they could. Y okay, you know, um, when you pl play as Raiden in MGS2, like, you know those little bugs that you have to spray to, like, say, when you have to get Emma away? Yeah. Um, if you, like, like crawl around on them, you'll get, um, like, a little red version of um, the bug on your ration, and it will start to eat them. If you leave them on there long enough, you'll start, you'll lose one. Um... But huh. the only it's such way to get a weird rid detail. Yeah. The only way to get rid of them is like to scroll through your item menu. But yeah, that's I never do that. Yeah, it took me a while to realize it, but the it more cool. you know. Yes. Oh, what a sound change. Yeah. Okay, that little beep was the radio. Um it's flavor text, no point. That's I'm just saying it. Oh, by the way. Oh, man, we're going to encounter something wonderful. Very wonderful. And the Sounds like we're going to encounter a dead sniper wolf. <laughs> no, it's going to be something worse. Something that could make me a very dead uh, Chris Redfield. Um, it's the thing that terrifies me the most in this game. Oh god, a rusty gate! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. You know, I, I actually really love these noises. I like the ambience. Yeah. It does add to it. <laughs> I, I'd love to live <laughs> somewhere like this. Can't reach me now, you stupid dog. Stupid dog! You're making me look bad. What? It's the courage theme when he's in trouble. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched Courage in years. So. I... <laughs> I watched that episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog. It was a really fucking weird one. It's the one where like that. Cat well, well, okay, comes to okay. Stay with them, with think the about that. Think about what you just said. A weird ca Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, the lesbian one. The last one. Yeah, it was really weird. Like, what, but it was, was that the carpet mature cool. one. It's the one where where the girl has like an abusive boyfriend and it's like super like he's just really touching on that subject dog and it's like Shit. oh that that's kind of you know what I expected. It touches on like like domestic abuse of like Eustace and Muriel as well where they have like fights and shit. Yeah, oh. and it, you can even it say play, it, it does it so about well. Lesbians and stuff, you know, and it's like you know it, it just does it so subtly. It's so good. It's oh. such a good episode, Kieran. I, I, I have to, to go back to be honest, but yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a real. It is a really good one. Yeah, it's really creepy as well. Some of the shit she does to Courage, like fuck. A lot, a oh, lot yeah. of it's kind of sad because they get really abusive to him. But like, it's kind of sad considering if you know, um, like the in intro where they find him and they they care for him and they want to look after him. And then cut to the future, they hate him. They don't care about him. It's like it's that damn. Well, I mean, Muriel likes him. It's Eustace who doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Eustace yeah. never gave a shit about courage. But I, I love some of Eustace's lines, though. He's so good. <laughs> Shut the dog up. It'll wake the neighbors. <laughs> oh, boy. You want okay. some chocolate? Guys, are you ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Are you sure? Are you actually sure, though? Okay. I'm ready for five nights at Freddy's. Then you just put a FNAF jump scare in. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, these guys waste my ammo so fucking much. Oh god, FMV, that's oh, fucking scary. I was gonna say, you know it means business when it's FMV'd. Yeah. That's the scariest shit I've ever seen. Oh, it's the little goblin things. No, they're not. They know how to use these, a door. These are not goblin things. <sighs> Fuck, they know how to open doors, oh my god. How, what? Why do they, how do they know how to use a door? Hunters. Fuck Very gently things. as well. Oh fuck, I've uh, heard about hunters. They have a one hit kill. And it sucks. We found him. We found Bigfoot. If they're anything like the hunters <laughs> in Left 4 Dead, then fuck. Probably not. Oh, but then, they then start they're to not very good. No, they show up in every other room now. So there's one in here. 
Yeah, and ah. Ow. Oh, Ow. Okay. That little note on the wall there is Wesker saying, hey, there's ammo in the room now. Uh, pick some up if you want. So, uh, that's, that's why there's that's ammo That's what on the you get for exploring, bish. Yeah. I know they opened the door in the FMV, but can they actually do that in-game? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> yeah. That would be kind of cool. It Well, no, that's Nemesis. <laughs> God, I was going to do his voice, but then I realized it would really hurt my throat if I did. Stars. Isn't Nemesis like the well, only I... like villain in Resident Evil Three? Well, he's the only good villain. Well, technically, yes. O obviously, Umbrella's the main like overarching villain. But I mean, in uh, terms of like any sort of like creature, like a zombie or anything like that, isn't he like, like the main uh, one? Well, every single Resident Evil game will well, have always a big bad evil mo monster that you had to fight with uh, something like that's meant to control it um I'll, i won't spoil it for this game just in case you don't know um uh, even though it's super old um but three I actually the, forgot big, the, the final boss of this game the big bad evil is um uh nemesis in three uh yeah. two it's mr x uh so. patrick stewart <laughs> no homer simpson well, well i don't know i don't know is it mr x or is it I, I can't remember. I think it's Mr. X. Homer Simpson? Homer Simpson. Like, well, wait, what was that other name Like Homer used to go by? Was it like something Masters or some shit like that? Fuck Diviner. Max Power? Max Power, that's the one. Max Power. I love Max Power. I love it that is name. a name that you mustn't touch. Yeah. Oh. One of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons is still the one where, like, that Homer finds that Japanese commercial and it's like the fucking which one which just look just looks just like him. Mr. Spacko. Ah, Mr. Spacko. Yeah. I love that. And it's all just a coincidence in the end. Yeah. Well, I've talked it out with the family. Oh god, it's I'm the battle toad. Sure we can all do with a trip it, to oh, America. Oh, it does look like a battle toad. You're right. It's a battle toad crossed with Arkham Asylum Killer Croc. Yeah. It looks like a troll from Oblivion. Again, I need to get back to Oblivion and play that DLC. Oh, I've been playing Oblivion recently. I know, I saw your post. just so like, bad. <laughs> did you end up uh, cu cutting that other guy's leg off, Dan? No, I stole his life savings and killed his wife. <laughs> Good. Fuck, deserves yeah, it. Yeah, Kieran, I, I don't Fuck care why you hate that guy so much. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. <laughs> That's everybody's face in Oblivion. I was going to say, Kieran, Oblivion is known for their potato-faced people. Kill them all. Thank you, kind sir. Anyway. Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Anyway, the the somewhat best method to deal with hunters is make sure you get a shot on them pretty quickly, and then because what they do is they'll go they'll fall to the ground and then they'll roll to the right. Make sure you like can follow it up because usually they'll either rush towards you or they'll do a jump attack. Be careful for that make jump sure attack because they can. They have a one-hit kill move which beheads your character, and it sucks. Fuck. And remember, if oh, you shit. break their back armor, you can throw a plasma grenade at them. Doesn't and work like that. I oh fuck. I feel like I just did that right now. I had to reload in front of a hunter. That how oh, dangerous. Oh god. I suppose with talons like that. Although I, I although I love their death scream. What a blood effect, Jesus. Yeah, I love their death scream as well. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, so that's the helmet key. What a casual pose Chris just stood in there. Yeah, like, let me just hang around with his shotgun. And then he just shoots himself in the foot. I don't think there's anyone who can look uncool while holding a shotgun. That is very true. Tom? Uh, Steve Urkel. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking Tom. No, I was like... Tom might be. <laughs> can I can I look cool with a shotgun? <laughs> you said that was such a. <laughs> My mom says I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing for the bit there, Kieran. <laughs> yeah. It went. Uh, I made the joke, but it went too far. <laughs> Sorry if you heard any muffling there. It's gonna Oh boy. Oh boy. Those rounds got any? Those rounds are very nice. 
Do you have to collect the magnum pieces in this game, or am I thinking of another one? You're thinking of three. Okay. You know that would probably be my favorite gun to use in a zombie apocalypse? The 44 a, magnum. A magnum? Well, that's the only reason Rick from um, Walking Dead uses one, because he played too much Resident Evil. <laughs> you know what my favorite gun would be in a zombie situation? What? What's that? A fucking Gatling gun. Cool. Okay, this is the great esteemed book, Eagle uh, of East Wolf of West. The Doom Book one. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you open it up and you just hear... <laughs> but, <laughs> no, 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 you just open it. You just open it up and it's that bit and flush the stone with the scream in the face. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. Damn it. Everything's coming back to Harry Potter. Yeah, look, it's the Order of the Phoenix right there. Duke. <laughs> okay, so this is the main thing for the uh, second third of the game. Um, those uh, medallions things, whatever they were. Did you know that Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets actually had a second name before <laughs> it was released? What was that, Dan? Magic Boy in the Hole with a Snake in it. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. It's I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Specky kid with the hole and the snake. <laughs> well, speaking of snakes, we're going to be seeing one very soon. I fucking love getting movie titles and making them really stupid. Yeah, it's like that Twitter thing is um, ruin a movie in four words or explain a movie plot in four words or something like that. <laughs> oh, I like that shit. But the only other, the only other one I can think of right now is um, oh. Django Unchained, just black guy with gun. <laughs> Fair enough. Part's over, by the way. Well, that, that looks like the end of that part. Well, uh, huh? Anyway, uh, I suppose that's pretty good though. Yeah. Oh, okay. End like that. We'll see you guys for part <laughs> seven. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, Kieran, me again, without you being able to hear me. <laughs> I left another message for you, Kieran. You better listen to it.